All right, so we're sitting up nice and big. Let's work on just doing some marches, stomping your feet. And bring it in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. One more, in and out. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, let's just do a couple backward shoulder rolls, waking up our shoulders. Focusing on our posture and sitting up big. Let's focus on having our feet big. All right, let's get going. So we're gonna do a big push out with big hands. You're gonna reach down. Pull it up and let's wake up your fingers. Wiggle those fingers. And bring it out and let's flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Again, big push. Reach down. Stretch it up, big reach. Again, wiggle your fingers. Wake up your hands. And bring it out and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Again, big push. Reach down. Pull it up, big reach. Now let's wake up our wrists. So moving our wrists up and down. And bring it out and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. One more time, big push. Reach down, bring it up, big stretch, looking up at the ceiling, and again, wake up your wrists, up and down. And bring it out, and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. All right, so next we're gonna do our swoop. So big reach with our hand. Check in with your hand. Make sure that that hand is as big as you can make it. And then we're gonna swoop, stretch your leg back, palm up to the ceiling, and let's flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. And when you bring it in, I want you to stomp it in. All right, today we're gonna alternate sides. So other side, big reach, big hand, big swoop, stretch that leg back, palm up, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stomp it in. Switch sides again. Big reach, big hand, big swoop. Stretch it back, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. And hopefully you're counting very loud, working on your breathing. Big reach, big swoop. Stretch it back, palm up. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stomp it in. Again, big reach, big hand, big swoop. Stretch that leg back, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big reach, 
Big hand, big swoop, stretch your leg back, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Okay, one more time on each side. Big reach, big hand, big swoop. Stretch your leg back, palm up. You should be feeling hopefully a good stretch in that hip. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Big reach, big hand, big swoops. Stretch it and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, bring it in. All right, let's get standing up. And we're gonna start with our forward step. All right, so your choices are you can do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, or you can alternate or do around the world. All right, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! All right, next is our side step. You can either alternate or do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, keep those arms big, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, next we're going backwards. So start with big hands, like you're pushing someone over. We're gonna step back, lift your toe, should feel a good stretch in the back part of your leg. Bring it back in. So we're gonna do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Let's go. Sit it back, toe up, and in. So that's one. And two. Sit back. And three. Sit it back, toe up. Four. Bring it back. Five, sit it back, and six, sit it back, and seven, sit it back, and eight, sit it back, and nine, one more on this side, sit it back, and ten. So check in with your posture, make sure you're standing up nice and tall, big arms, we're switching to the other side, let's go. Sit it back and toe up, that's one. Sit it back, that's two. Sit it back, three. Sit it back, now four. Sit it back, now five. 
Really finish strong. Sit it back. Now six. Sit it back. Now seven. Sit it back. Now eight. Sit it back. Now nine. Sit it back. Now 10. All right, so next let's get our feet um, staggered and we're gonna do our weight shifting. So let's just do a couple forward and backward weight shifts, really working on moving through our feet. All right, and then our arms are just an opposite arm swing, like walking with big hands. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, let's switch sides. So just a couple weight shifts forward and back. Really working on moving big through our feet and also standing up tall. Let's add in those arms. So big reach, big hands. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, let's bring it back to center. The last of the big exercises is our twist. So start with arms up, palms to the ceiling. You're gonna find a target behind you and then coming back to me. Let's go, we got 15 on the right and then 15 on the left. And go, one, bring it back, finish big. Big reach, two, back in, big reach, three, finish big, big reach, four, finish big, big reach, Five, finish big, big reach. Six, finish big, big reach. Seven, finish big, big reach. Eight, finish big, big reach. Nine, finish big, big reach. Ten, finish big. Big reach, 11, finish big, big reach, 12, finish big, big reach, 13, finish big, big reach, 14, finish big, big reach, 15, finish big, other side, so big reach, Hands up, let's go. One, bring it in, big reach. Two, finish big, big reach. Three, finish big, big reach. Four, finish big, big reach. Five, finish big, big reach. Six, finish big, big reach. Seven, finish big, big reach. Eight, finish big, big reach. Nine, finish big, big reach. 10, finish big, big reach. 11, finish big, Big reach, 12, big reach, twist, 
That's 13. Big reach. And this is 14. Give me one more. Big reach. 15. Big finish. All right. Let's grab our chairs. My favorite part of class, stand-ups and sit-downs. All right. So everyone's been doing solo stand-ups and sit-downs. Um, our goal is by the time we get back to in-person classes that we're up to 100 total, we're at 80 now. Um, so you all are doing awesome. How we do um, stand-ups and sit-downs in class is we alternate. So myself and there are two students are the odd numbers. You all are even. We alternate going back and forth all the way up to 80. All right, let's go. One. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 77, and 79. Woo! So good! All right. We're going to be at 100 in no time. All right. Is everyone ready for station? Woo, okay. So I'm gonna talk through the stations um, and give what um, we're gonna be doing on the floor. And then also, if it's hard to get down on the floor, what you can be doing and sitting or standing. So the first one is um, called open book. So I'll do what you do in standing first. So in standing, you're gonna use your chair and you're gonna work on opening your arm up and bringing it back down. What that looks like in on the floor on a mat is 
on your side. You're gonna breathe in and then drop your arm out. So really opening up through your chest and then bring it in and back. And you're gonna do that 10 times on one side. The next station is on your side. We're gonna work on writing the alphabet with our foot. In standing, you can just do that in standing using your foot. The next station is bridges. So we're gonna work on a quick lift up and then slowly lower down. In standing, you can work on squats. Same timing, so quick up, slowly lower down. And then we're gonna roll onto the other side. And then we're gonna get onto hands and knees and do cat and cow. And you can do that using your chair um, for support. The next one is fire hydrant. So you're here, bringing your leg out to the side. Again, you can do that using your chair. Um, so standing, holding onto the chair. And then the last one is gonna be working in half kneeling. You can either just hold it here or we can work on big reach up crossover, big reach up, crossover, um, your choice. And then if you are in standing, you can be in a lunge doing that same thing. So we'll do it all on one side, all on the other. There will not be a memory test for this. I will talk you through as we go. I just wanted to show you that there are both options. So for those of you who are getting down on the floor, I'll give you a head start. All right, and so for those of you who are doing this in standing, you're gonna use your chair for support. All right, so we're gonna do 10, open the book. So I'm gonna have you work on big breathing while you're doing this and also counting. So you're gonna do a big breath in, float your arm, drop it out, and then breathe it in and over. So that's one. Big reach, big hand, dropping it out. This should feel like a nice stretch through your upper trunk, your shoulder, float it in. If it feels beneficial, you could just also just hang out here rather than moving in and out of it. Big reach, drop it down and then float it back in. So this is number six for me. As you go through this, you may find um, that your shoulder um, is getting loosened up. And so to make it more of a stretch, you can always bring your arm up closer to your ear. Let's do two more on this side. And one more. All right, and from here, we're gonna straighten out our top leg and we're gonna write the alphabet. The bigger your letters are, the more engaged your hip is. Also, try not to write way out here. Try to keep your leg in line with your hip. You could even bring it back a little bit further to get more of your tush. All right, so we're writing the alphabet. 
And you get to pick lowercase, uppercase, cursive. And then if you're doing this in standing, you can be standing up nice and tall and you're writing the letters with your leg. You should be feeling this in your tush. Your tush is not gonna be on vacation right now. But this is great because so much of what we need to focus on in terms of balance, in terms of strength, in terms of walking is related to um, getting your tush tighter. So I'm on you right now. All right, so that I just crossed the finish line with my Z. So if your tush is really feeling it, you could even just rub it out, give it a little love, and then we're going to roll on to your back. So you can have, if you're on your back, hands down here on the floor. You can bring them onto your stomach. You can have them up here, up in the air, whatever feels comfortable for you. So we're going to do 10 where we raise up quick and then slowly lower down for three counts. So that's lift up and then slowly lower down and lift up slowly lower down and for those in standing you're doing this in squat lift up slowly lower down lift up slowly lower down and i want this feeling in the tush lift up not in your hamstrings so if your hamstrings are starting to cramp up i want you to really focus on squeezing your tush lift up slowly lower down Lift up, slowly lower down. Lift up, slowly lower down. Let's do three more. Lift up, slowly lower down. Lift up, slowly lower down. Lift up, slowly lower down. One more. Lift up slowly lower down all right we're gonna roll onto your other side i'm just gonna flip around so you can see me better all right and so we're um back to opening the book stretch so you're gonna reach your arm up big hand breathe in and then breathe out as you drop down you can hold that if that feels comfortable, or just float it back up. And we're gonna do 10 of these. So breathe in, float your arm, drop it back. And then in standing, you're just using either the base of your chair, you could use the top of your chair, and bring it back in. Breathe in, float your arm, and bring it back in. Breathe in, float your arm, bring it back in. Breathe in. Let's do three more. So the things that I'm having us really focus on here is um, trunk rotation, getting a nice stretch through our shoulders, and then also working on some nice deep breathing. Give me two more. Mm 
Okay, and one more. All right, and then we're back on our side and we're writing the alphabet with, I'm just gonna scoop back um, with our top leg. So again, you're trying to keep your leg in a straight line. You don't want to be writing your alphabet way out here. You want to be more in line. If you're in standing, then you are doing this standing tall, writing with your toe. And your tush should probably be feeling this. The bigger motion, the more you're getting at your tush. These are some really nice letters. All right, so I just finished my letters. Can rub that out. And then we're rolling onto your back. And let's do 15 bridges now. You did so well with the first round. So we're doing a quick lift up and then slowly coming down. All right, and let's go. Lift up, slowly come down. 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 Lift up. Slowly come down, lift up, 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 slowly come down, lift up. Slowly come down, lift up, slowly come down, and then one more, lift up, slowly come down. All right, from here, we're going on to hands and knees, and if you are in standing, you're going to use your chair. And let's just do 15 cat and cows. What I want us to really focus on here is moving through our spine and then also really working on nice deep breathing. Okay, so you're going to pull in your belly button, arch your back, and then breathe out. Drop your belly, lift your head, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, tuck your head, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to do five more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, so next station is um, fire hydrant. So you can do this on hands and knees where you're bringing your leg and knee out to the side and back in. Or you can do this in standing using the chair. Your choice. So we're going to do 15 on the right. And then we'll drop it down into child's pose. And then we'll do 15 on the left. All right. Let's go. So that's one. And bring it in. Two. Bring it in. Three. Bring it in. Four. Bring it in. Five, bring it in. Six, bring it in. Seven, bring it in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, give me one more, 15. All right, if it's comfortable, you're gonna drop just into child's pose, stretch out your hip. And then we're gonna come in, hands and knees again. And we're gonna do 15 on the other side. All right, let's go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. All right, again, drop down into child's pose if you can. Give your low back a nice stretch. And then come back up. And we're going to get into half kneel. So you're going to bring one knee forward. If you're in standing, just take this into a lunge. What we're gonna work on is big reaches up and then reach across. Big reach up, look up at the ceiling, reach across. So let's just do 15 like that and we're going. So cut it down, reach it back up, that's one. And down, up is two. Reach it down and up is three. Reach it down. Up is four, reach it down, bring it up as five, reach it down, up as six, reach it down, up as seven, reach it down, up as eight, reach it down, up as nine, reach it down, up as ten. Reach it down, up 11, reach down, up 12, reach down, up 13, reach down, up 14, 
reach down, up 15. All right, let's switch sides. So you're just gonna um, bring your other foot forward. If you're in standing, you're just switching your feet that are in that lunge position. You should be hopefully feeling your tush working. So especially your tush um, on your back leg. All right, and we're doing a big reach up, big hand, reaching down, and then pulling it back up. So that's one, reach down, and back up. That's two, reach down, and up. That's three, reach down, up. That's four, reach down, up. That's five, reach down, up. That's six, reach down, up that seven, reach down, up that eight, reach down, up that nine, reach down, up that 10, reach down, up that 11, reach down, up that 12, reach down, back up that 13, reach down, that's 14, reach down, and that's 15, woo! All right, so then let's um, do one more round of fire hydrants and um, half kneels. So we're back on the hands and knees, and we're gonna do 15 more fire hydrants. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. All right, if it's comfortable, just drop down into child's pose and then we're doing the other side. All right, so back in the tabletop and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. And we're back in to half kneel. If you're in standing, you can be in a lunge. And from here, I'm just gonna change a little bit of what we're doing. We're gonna work on just rocking forward and backwards. So really working on engaging your tush. And then this is also a really nice way of getting at a tight quad muscle, hip flexor muscle, And then you're also working on your core to keep you stable while you're doing this. So it's like a three for one. All right, let's switch legs. So squeeze in that tush on your stable side and you're just working on shifting forward and back forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So this should just feel like a nice stretch, no pain. And then you're also working on your core, your balance. 
So as you're doing this, keeping your shoulders up, you can looking straight ahead. So oftentimes our trunk goes where our eyes are going. So if we're looking down at the floor, that's gonna be where our shoulders go. That's gonna be where our trunk goes. So bringing your eyes up just helps keep that upright posture. All right, you guys did great today with the mat exercises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to standing and we are gonna do our balance exercises. All right, so I'm hoping that these will be pretty easy to see. Let's see. Okay, these are brought, um, this exercise is brought to you by my son because we were working on letters this morning. All right, so I have some or number flashcards and um, what we're gonna work on is either sidestepping um, to the right or sidestepping to the left. Right is gonna be odd numbers, left is gonna be even numbers. If it is, say, 50, um, what you're gonna do is whatever that first number is, so five, okay? All right, so we'll start with five. And so odd numbers are a right step and bring it in. Next, we got two. So even to the left. Nine. Right and back in. Four. Left. Back in. Four again. Left. Back in. One, right, back in. Three, right, back in. Seven, right, back in. Six, left, back in. Okay, now we're gonna do it without me. I'm just gonna read off the numbers. So this is eight. Three, two, nine, seven. Oh, they're sticky. Nine, five, two. Nine, four, four, four again. Whoop, one, three, seven, six. Eight, three, two, nine, seven, nine. Five, two, I'm going to change that to a six, four, and one. All right, great job. Okay, so next what we're going to work on is um, either a side step or you can do a crossover step or we can do 
a grapevine step. As you're going across, I'm gonna have you try to add in a high knee to work on standing balance, and then also big arms. All right, so we're gonna do this for two minutes. All right, timer is started. So you can either be doing side stepping, you can be doing crossover steps, or you can be doing grapevine, which is step out to the side, step behind, step out to the side, step in front. And then as you get to the wall, adding in a high knee, can add in big arms. If you want to get really fancy, you can add in a turn. And so think about what we were just talking about in terms of being really honed in on the floor and what that does to our posture. So if you can, try bringing your eyes up. If you can, we got 15 seconds left. Let's work on increasing the speed. All right, and stop. So let's come back to center. We're gonna just do one more balance exercise. So I'm gonna have you, if you need to, hold on to the chair, and we're just gonna work on standing on one leg. Working on standing up nice and tall. Engaging your hip of that standing leg. Should not be on vacation. and switch sides. Make sure you're breathing. and drop that foot down. So let's bring one foot forward, toe up, and we're just gonna sit our tush back, feeling a nice stretch in the back of our leg and in um, hopefully your calf muscle. May even be feeling a nice stretch in your tush that's sticking back. and drop your foot down and roll up. Let's switch sides. So lifting that toe up, bringing your tush back, feeling a nice stretch in the back part of your leg. and drop it down, roll up. If you're able to, 
we can do a quad stretch. So grabbing on to your ankle. If that feels like too much, then go into a lunge. So a lunge stretch, and then just trying to roll your pelvis under to get more of a quad stretch. So remember, I want everyone to be safe while they're doing this. So if that feels like a big balance challenge, that's okay to do the modification. All right, and then let's switch sides. So you can either lift up and grab hold of your ankle to get a nice quad stretch, or you can be here in a lunge and then just tucking your pelvis under to get a nice hip flexor and then some quad stretch. And bring it back in. All right, let's come to sitting. All right, from here, we're gonna cross our leg over if that is um, okay for you. If it's not, you can prop your foot up. And we're working on just getting some nice stretching through our side of our hip. Um, working on sitting up nice and tall. And then if it feels comfortable, just leaning forward a little bit to get even more of a stretch. Again, make sure we're breathing. Don't stop breathing. And float your leg down. Let's switch sides. You may feel like one side is a little bit tighter than the other. And every day it may be just slightly different. And bring your leg down. And let's just bring our ear to our shoulder. You can give a nice overpressure with your hand if that feels comfortable. To get more of a stretch, you, you can use your other hand to reach towards the floor. And bring it back up. Let's try the other side. So bring your ear to your shoulder. You can use your hand to give a little extra overpressure and then using your opposite hand to reach for the floor. Okay, and then relax and we're going to just finish with five big breaths so breathing in you're going to raise your arms up look up at the ceiling and then float your arms down so we're breathing in for four counts and then breathing out for four counts so breathe in and breathe out breathe in and out Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. All right, nice job, everyone. Woo!